What is up guys, it's Alex the Magician here, back for another Heroes 3 guide, and this video is a continuation of the Vampire Lords R.O.P. series, and here we're gonna break down the Maxi Picket fight with 12 Vampire Lords. So, first I'm gonna demonstrate the fight one more time without an explanation, and then after that I'll redo it, and then we'll jump into the actual explanation. Alright, so now I will just talk you guys through this fight. So, first of all, we do have an anti-morale artifact here, and if you are going into a maxi picket, I definitely would suggest having an anti-morale artifact, because the Wolf Raiders, they do hit really hard, so if they morale and they get a free shot on you, especially when you're not retaliating, you can easily die here. So for the Maxi Pickets, this is a bit of a tricky fight. I do recommend having an anti-morale artifact here. 12 Vampire Lords is about the minimum, but here... We actually only have 1-3 stats, it's a level 3 Galthran, and we only have basic armor. So if you have, you know, expert armor, uh, if you happen to have, um, you know, higher levels, higher stats, or maybe offense as well, then you could potentially do this with lower numbers of vampires. And, you know, you can always also utilize spells. So there's multiple ways that you can do this. You can try using uh, something like Magic Arrow or a Lightning Bolt to try to damage some of them. You know, you can try to use Shield or Stone Skin to take less damage, uh, maybe even Bloodlust. So there's, there's plenty of options. You could even use Animate Dead if you happen to have it. It, but it with this method, if you do have an anti-morale artifact, uh, it is easy to do this without actually uh, losing anything and without even having to use any mana or anything like that. So basically, the way that this is going to work is we just need to pay attention to the order in which they go and we need to try to position ourselves in a way that we're only going to get hit by two stacks maximum and also that weak stacks do not take our retaliation and then the strong stacks hit us without retaliation. So first we're just going to move down here and hit this stack. Oh yeah, and we do bring six skeleton one stacks. That way they don't gang up on our vampire lords right away. And we can also use this skeleton stack to bait an attack down here. So second turn, we're just going to move the vampire lords to this corner. And see, we only got hit by one stack here, right? Now here, we're going to wait. So we get hit by the 30 stack and then a weaker stack. And this is kind of what we want. You know, when a, if we do need to take a hit from a strong stack, we want the other stacks that hit us to be weak. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attack the stronger stack. And now what we're going to do is we're going to reposition because what's going to happen is if we actually... Uh, like either wait or attack one of these, then likely we could kill the entire stack with retaliation. And then we get hit by the, well, actually, we'll, we're not going to kill this one with retaliation, but I'll show you guys what I mean in a second after I reposition. But the thought process here is that you want to keep a weak stack alive and you also want to avoid 
taking the first hit, so the hit that you will retaliate on from the weak stack, because then the strong stacks will hit you without retaliation, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reposition over here. So first we're gonna wait. All right, see, so we have weak stacks, um, two weak stacks here. And now we do need to reposition because if we didn't, the four stack would, um, or, you know, we can, we can probably kill the stack here, right? And then uh, the four stack will end up taking our retaliation and then we get hit by a strong stack. So we're gonna reposition over here. And now we're gonna wait again, because the thing is here, only one stack is gonna be able to attack us because this stack moves first, right? And it's gonna position itself over here because that's the only way that it can reach. And it's gonna block this stack from being able to attack us. So we're only gonna get hit by one strong stack. And this is where the morale, anti-morale artifact comes in because if we didn't have that, then there's a chance that that stack would morale and then you know we would be in trouble. So here we're gonna wait. All right, and the good news here is that we can actually attack this stack right now. And then we can also wait because this stack is the first one to move. It's gonna attack us and then the four stack moves. So we don't really take a whole lot of damage. So we're safe here for one more turn. So we're gonna wait here. All right, and now we want to reposition once again because we do have these strong stacks that could potentially attack us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over here and hit this stack. And then we position to this corner. Now, this is not like a 100% exact formula for you guys to follow. The point is that thought process that you want to try to get hit by strong stacks as little as possible and avoid uh, having weak stacks take retaliation from your vampire lord so that the strong stacks uh, hit you without retaliation. So here, once again, we're going to wait because what's going to happen here is the 22 stack or is it the 30 stack? Well, the 30 stack, I believe, is going to hit us and the rest of these stacks are going to block off. Actually, wait, it's the 11 stack. All right, the 11 stack is going to hit us first. And, uh, and then the 22 stack is gonna hit us, uh, or not the 22, the 30 stack is gonna hit us, but the 22 stack is gonna be blocked off. So that's not gonna be able to hit us. So we're gonna wait. Oh, actually the 11 stack also got blocked. Okay, cool. So yeah, so we only got hit by the 30 stack. So at this point, uh, they're all weakened enough as to where we can just stay here. Now we can wait again. Uh, we did uh, get a weak stack that took retaliation from us, but at this point, these guys are not 30 stacks, so it's not that dangerous. So we can hit this stack. Wait one more time. Now, this stack will die to retaliation, and we do get hit by the 22 stack, I think. But it's not that bad. So now we just hit this stack twice. And also, you do want to utilize wait turns so that you can attack twice whenever you can, whenever it makes sense. All right, and there you guys have it. So we were able to do a maxi picket with a level 3 Gothran, 1-3 stats, and only 12 Vampire Lords. So, But you definitely do have to play this fight properly because if you let like all of the Wolf Raiders gang up on your vampires, then you're of course dead. So definitely make sure that you play this fight properly. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this demonstration. I hope that you guys learned something. I hope you find this useful. Uh, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video in this series. The next one, we're going to be breaking down the Maxi Hive with 16 Vampire Lords. And also, if you want to see more English Speaking Heroes 3 content, do check out my Twitch stream. Link in the description below. And I will see you guys soon. Peace out.